our next step is to cut the threaded rod and add this eyelet. So disassemble this. Now what we have to do is figure out how far this thread's in here. I'm going to back it off about an eighth inch, so there'll be an eighth inch of play still to thread in. Same thing goes for here, so that we have um, an option to adjust it, you know, in and out. And then these nuts will go on here on either side of the threaded rod to lock it in so there's no chance of it ever vibrating and rotating and sliding on us. Well, what we have to do now is get a collet in here with a piece of bar stock just so we can get this thing locked up so we know how far the throw is and make sure that when it opens that it's not you know, putting pressure on the machine and the bearings and everything else and vice versa out here. You don't want it to be too much pressure to put on the bearings and, you know, the bearing here and vice versa. So we want it to move nice and smoothly. So that'll be our next step right there. So let me find some uh, bar stock that we're going to use to figure out what size collet we're going to put in there. Beautiful. Okay. So and it's bottomed out right there. Mark. I'll back it off uh, about a quarter of an inch. Put another mark. So let's see what we got for here. I think one inch in this would be more than enough, even if it goes a little bit further. I just want to get a general idea doesn't hurt to double check things So I'm going to do uh, a little more than a half inch. So, yeah, it bottomed out. And three quarters of an inch. All right, so now we know how deep it goes in there. On this side. And that's locked out, so let's turn this thing on. Okay, and that's fully extended. Some nuts on here. And uh, pull it right up to the line. So this way when we put it in the uh, cut it with the bandsaw, 
just runs right along that and then we can unthread it just to clean up the threads another one from the back keep it balanced we'll lock these two so it can't rotate so we'll set there let's get it uh in the band saw and get that cut off okay we got it all chucked up in the uh, band saw <clears throat> had to add a couple more nuts to the back side because the clamp didn't go up far enough for here but let's get this cut Really clean cut. Really no burrs. So should be a clean. Once we unthread this, cleaned up, ready to go. So let's get this disassembled and uh, get it on the machine. Now I'm just eyeing it up. We can add that nut later. Let's take a test and uh, see how much we have to finagle. Really not that bad. She's fully opened and there is just a little bit of play. So there is no pressure being pushed on here. You know, extreme pressure being this way. So a little bit of pressure there. Let's see what we can do about that. A little better. It's not bad. Yeah, let's see how this works. And that's only 20 psi right there. Yeah. I gotta finagle and see what the, uh, the 20 is good enough.
Let's say that's a success. Very happy with that. See how well it works without any air on it. If we can still manually move it. Yeah, it's a little tight. It is doable. What I think I might do is actually add a switch on the top of the cover. So a little targo switch so I could just flick it open and close it manually for when I'm setting things up but let's get this together Uh, wire loops which we're going to use the whole back power wire which actually works out perfectly for here perfect right there now what we have to do is slide the control box out take the side cover off and then uh, route the power wires and the um, airlines to the bottom end of the machine to the back and uh, secure them make sure that the gonna get in the way with the motor the belts or any moving parts and uh, then we can install the cover and reinstall the collar closer and uh, that would be it I'm thinking huh. I guess we'll see once we uh, get to that point so let me move the camera and move some stuff around so I can get this uh, cover off and uh, we'll resume from there we'll be right back Okay, we got the cover off, which is right there. Just four screws, one in each corner. That's all it was. Okay, so we got it, uh, the wire is nice and tight. Let's see what we got going on down here. Just self tapped right up into those. Right angle iron comes down. A few zip ties just keep it nice and tight. Runs at the back. As you can see, it's far away from the belt. There's no chance of it ever getting caught up. So. cover back reinstalled move the cabinet over we got the, uh, the enclosure back on there and we'll hook everything else up